with us the courage of Jesus Christ, your son, to face the coronavirus pandemic with trust, strength, compassion, and resiliency. Give us the grace of the Holy Spirit to free us from fear and anxiety so we may do actions of help and support and look forward to our healing with hope. We pray for the health workers, food liners, maintenance cleaners, logistics abler, government leaders, and volunteers who continuously come together to deliver our daily needs to survive. Guide us from this time of crisis, preserve us in peace, protect the weak and vulnerable, and those who serve to society during this pandemic. This we ask and pray in Jesus' name, our Savior. Amen. Nagahatid saya sa mga Pinoy, mga kantang tatak Pinoy. Kahit nasan ka man, kami ay mapapakinggan. Streaming worldwide, the future of radio in Manila, California, and Hong Kong. This is V81 Radio. Malayo ka man sa iyong pamilya, dito ay hindi ka nag-iisa. Kaya kito'y iyong hahanap-hanapin Dahil ito ang nagpapasaya sa atin Radio, ito ang radio mo, ito ang radio ko. Radio, radio, dahil mahal namin kayo. Radio, radio, para sa inyo ito. Radio, radio. Ang paborito ng bawat Pilipino Basta all hits o Pinoy Panalo Merong kwentong iyakan at tawanan Kahit na saan ka man ito'y Mapapakinggan Mapapakinggan Oh, 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 oh Views and opinions expressed in the following program are those of the program anchors and producers and do not necessarily reflect the policies and position of this station. We now bring you the program that brings together leading personalities, representative insights, all together in a meaningful and delightful conversation as your social barometer. Let's chat with Tita Gracie. Let's chat with Tita Gracie. Hosted by Breakthrough Millennial Boomer, Gracie Venezuela, only here on V81 Radio. Hello. 
Hello once again to all the listeners of V81 Radio in the Philippines, in the USA, and all the other countries where our broadcast can be reached. This is Tita Gracie, and uh, we are already here on episode number six of Let's Chat with Tita Gracie. And I feel so blessed because we are now on day 63 of ECQ here in Metro Manila. And it's been two months and three days of living in lockdown. And uh, I'm sure that um, a lot of us have adapted. And for those that haven't adapted, well, you know, I pray to the Lord that um, as the days go by, you'll be able to uh, get a grip and uh, settle down and prioritize and come to terms with the reality of today's world with the coronavirus looming over our heads and the future horizon is quite uncertain. However, in spite of that atmosphere of uh, gloom, I thought that for my show this evening, I was thinking of what would be the best theme to inspire and to encourage the viewers. And one basic um, quotation came to mind. And I remember when I was young, I used to listen to radio all the time. And I had a fav favorite uh, TV show, American Top 40. And there was a DJ host who always ended his show with the line, keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Let's take a moment to take a look at that line. Keep your feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. Today, I want us to focus on that theme because now more than ever, it's important for us to keep our feet on the ground, to be grounded on strong values and um, the right way of living because we are living in a crisis. And there's nothing like a crisis that wakes you up to reality. And that means that um, we must look for a more practical strategy in life so that we will be able to tide over this current situation of ours. And when I was researching on a similar uh, quote, I came upon another uh, very interesting, uh, very touching quote, which is, be humble for you are made of earth. Be noble for you are made of stars. You know, man is a, you know, we are a combination of earth and sky. And uh, it has been said that, uh, you know, our flesh uh, came from dust and to dust we shall return. However, we are also made of the same material that the whole universe is made of. So we have a natural inclination to reach for the stars, to be noble, to reach for our dreams and aspirations, to go higher than where we are at the moment. So these are two contrasting ideas which I would like to explore today. And as we all know, um, we must continue to be hopeful, be inspired by art, be inspired by the things that are good, true, beautiful. So we have to focus on the positive to keep our hopes up during this time of pandemic. So, uh, so many inspirations came along the way you know, prior to today. And uh, just the mere, uh, uh, you know, surfing on the Facebook, on the internet, I came across a beautiful tune sung by a friend of mine who happened to spark up the energy in, my, in me because earlier in the week I was, uh, I was in a very sad state. But listening to that one song was like a light bulb. Like, it's like that song tripped the light bulb in my head. And it's uh, a classic tune by one of my favorite composers, Cole Porter. And another favorite song of Cole Porter is Night and Day. For those of you that, uh, you know, that grew up in my generation, I'm sure you know the song uh, Night and Day by Cole Porter. And we all know that our days, 24 hour days, there, is, there are hours, 12 hours of daytime and 12 hours of night. As the day is composed of day and night, there is a time and a place for everything. There is a time to face our basic, most important 
um, obligations and responsibilities. That's the daytime hours. And there's also a time to dream, a time to rest at night, to reach for the stars and soar with the clouds in deep reverie. Such is the beauty and balance of life. There is a time and a place for everything. And today, um, our show is going to be dedicated to just that, keeping our feet on the ground and keep reaching for the stars. And also, since we are on day 63, the final weekend of ECQ, because tomorrow, Metro Manila goes into a moderate GCQ or ECQ, but definitely this weekend, the malls are already open. I still have to uh, remind people that let's not forget the lessons of the last two months. I have a visual, a quick visual called, Who Do I Choose to Be During the COVID-19 Pandemic? And if you take a look at this visual, um, when, this, when the COVID pandemic started, I'm sure 100% of us were in the fear zone. And that zone is where we, we were plagued with questions and insecurity. We uh, were, some people were panic buying. They got, you know, they got into a, a, a you know, emergency mode. And then after a few days, a lot of people went into a learning zone. They decided that, you know, we have to let go of control because this is a situation that we cannot control. We have to adapt. So we have to stop consuming, you know, all the negative news. We have to adapt and take a look at what's important. Get down to basics. Develop a routine or a program for yourself to think positive. Make the most of your time. Not remain in the fear zone. And then from the learning zone, hopefully, we should now be in the growth zone, which is, you have to be realistic. We are living in the now, and we have to be looking forward to what is going to be happening in the next few days. So friends, let's think about that. From the first few weeks in April, fear zone, and then we get into the learning zone, and now we should go into the growth zone. And it's so appropriate that our guest today, our two guests, both personify the importance of daylight and nighttime, keeping our feet on the ground as we reach for the stars. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to introduce our first guest. He is no stranger to people in the entertainment and theater sector because he has appeared in a lot of productions, both here in uh, the Philippines and abroad. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like to welcome Mr. Noel Rios. Hi, Gracie. Hello, Noel. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Thanks for having me again so soon. Yeah, um, you yeah. know, uh, it's important to mention the fact that I listened to your song uh, that you posted, The Lovely, and I was immediately inspired to do this show tonight. And as I go into a more detailed interview with you later on, we'll explain that. But today we also have another friend of ours, and I'd like to introduce her also. I'd like to call on a top-notch financial advisor, May Sol, to join us in the studio. Hi, Gracie, Noel. Thank you for having Hello, me. Hello, May. How are you? I'm okay. Thank you. Yes. Okay. You. May, I just want to remind you to speak a little louder. I know okay. you have a beautiful, very low, sultry voice. But yes. for the benefit of our audience, maybe you can speak a little louder. How are you doing, May? I'm okay. I feel great physically. Yes. Uh, I'm relaxed. And um, so I just want to ask you, um, May, so how are you spending your days now? Given that we're in the um, pandemic, well, I start with uh, my day by exercising, you know, because I feel I feel good when I exercise, and then I just uh, make it a point to take care of myself. Uh, That's good, because I have more time now, no, and also we want to be fit. Uh, we want our immune system to be in the right place, and pray long, and uh, we pray more nowadays. <laughs> good. How about you, Noel? How do you spend your days in lockdown in 
Malaysia. By the way, he's you're still in Malaysia, right? Um, hi May. Same as May. Um, routine, routine, routine is is great. Because you you gotta have something to wake up to and do, like feeling that you have to do it. So if it's a workout or if it's another song you have to finish, routine is always good. And prayer, definitely. I, I don't think I've prayed as much as, I, <laughs> as these days as in the past. Mm, yeah. <laughs> so, yes. We became more I guess, uh, something that all three of us have in common. Uh, I think uh, we are the three, both uh, you and Noel, uh, May, as well as myself, uh, believe we both, be, we all three believe in the power of prayer, the power of grounding ourselves on uh, our faith and our trust in our Lord Jesus Christ. And I know that uh, as the days move forward, all, all of you are already in the growth zone, in that diagram, because we must have a healthy attitude as we move forward. No? And, and consider all of this as a trial. And we do know that when we're in trial, all the more we have to have our faith intact. I have one more question. How about you, uh, May? Um, with all the things that have been going on the past 63 days, of lockdown, what realization do you have? And uh, what, how will that impact on your life moving forward? Um, well, you know, we realize now that um, the present moment is the only thing we have no? right now. So um, we, all we have to do is to think of what we can do right now and not worry so much about what is so far ahead because we have no control. So. This situation puts us uh, in a place where we have no control of what's happening outside of ourselves. So what we can what we can do is only to control what's happening within ourselves, to work on ourselves, because we cannot work on what's happening outside of ourselves. So I believe that if if you do what you can now, it will take care of the future. True. Um, uh, it's very important that uh, we live it one day at a time, yes. not overthink about the future, um, and make sure that uh, we maximize each day and be productive, keep our health intact, keep our mental and emotional health intact. And also, um, we must be uh, prudent so that we do not... Um, overindulge in watching the news or you know being so depressed about what's going on and also be very careful because we when we do our chores and when we do when we go out of our comfort zone that the virus is still there we still have to be careful how about you noel uh with all the pandemic and you being locked down in in malaysia what is your biggest realization and how do you think it will impact your life moving forward Super good question. Thank you, Gracie. Because we're ano eh, artists by nature. Uh, nila lahat, pero of course, we're emotional beings, right? We're, sabi nga nila, um, right brained, uh, di masyadong logical. Um, and you only have limited control of your emotions, right? I mean, you cannot um, tell yourself. It's also not good to suppress. Um, the late Zenaida Amador taught me that. God rest her soul. Yes. She was my drama mentor. Yes. Right? Um, sabi nga niya, what are you saving it for? Yeah. You, it's, um, we don't label our feelings bad or good. They're, they just are. Right? So we don't control that very much. But we can control our thoughts. We have a greater degree of control of our thoughts. So, if you're influenced by um, news or uh, activity and fear, like you said, if some people are in the fear zone, and who doesn't slide back there once in a while, right? 
um, if you find yourself being influenced, then uh, don't think about those things. Because you'll just end up with feelings that are not good, that are not adaptive. But you can control um, the flood of information, the, the what you surround yourself with, right? So it's better you just um, focus on what's what's good and what's healthy. And that's the what's one. Huh? That's my that's first impression. The second is that the artist spirit cannot be suppressed. And again, this is from Tita Bibot. I'll never forget because now that um, she's not with us, right? She, that's why we all we can, we can also think that some pe people actually don't die. When we die, we become stories. And I have a million stories, so that so has everyone who's ever been under her. Um, you, you do it, ano eh, sabi nga niya, no one's stupid enough to theater for money. Um, but it's, you know, some your talent fee is a measure of your your worth as an actor, so and so. But now that there's really no, ano eh, there's no performance, normal, uh, no live performance, the normal avenue for expression or for uh, live performance, they're not, they're just not there. So, Question, what do you do? Well, guess what? It won't be suppressed. It's got to go somewhere. And we have to find ways to make it good and still, um, still make things beautiful. We can make our pain beautiful. We can make suffering beautiful because that's our job. That's our job as artists. We yes. take uh, a mirror of the world and, sh and tell the truth. This is what you look like. like that. Yon, yon aking, ano, those are my impressions. Aba, no, but you get it naman. Of course. And I think that for the benefit of our audience out there, the learnings and the insights to be provided by both our guests will be valuable as the days go by. These are basic um, learnings that everybody should have. Actually, they're life skills. Controlling our emotions um, acknowledging our emotions, not judging ourselves because of our emotions is important. We must accept them for what they are, allow ourselves to feel it, feel the, feel the fear, feel the insecurity, feel the anger, feel the frustration even, feel the lack. But once that hill is crossed, once that valley is crossed, it's important that we dust ourselves off, get up, learn, and you know, energize ourselves. It's a new, there's a new day every day. As day turns into night, and that night again turns into day, we have to take stock and say, okay, it's a new day. We got we, we have a chance to make it better. And I think that's the whole point of my show today is that. There's always a chance to make it better. There's a chance to feel better. And let's not whip ourselves too much because of what has happened in the past. But we have to look hopeful in the future. Now, um, Noel, hold that thought because those are beautiful insights. I'm going to get back to you later on when we take a closer look at nighttime and reaching for the stars. In the meantime, ladies and gentlemen, I want to focus on daytime and what we should be paying attention to during our waking moments, our obligations and responsibility. May, are you ready? Okay. Hang on. We have a technical glitch. Just a moment. Um, okay. So okay. I'm unmuted. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yes. So now we are going to discuss. I'm here to discuss uh, the practical side. Not uh, this pandemic doesn't only have uh, health repercussions, you know, um, to our health system, but also financial um, repercussions, not to our economy and everything. Yes. So um, what can what can we do in our own little way? Can you hear me? Yeah, I think we have to we have to make the volume a little louder. Uh, and as as the volumes are being adjusted, okay, can you hear me now? a moment to focus on the objective of our 
next segment, ladies yes. and gentlemen, we're equating the obligations, the shining the daylight or shining the light upon uh, the important things which we must take care of. Because one of the things that's, that uh, hit a lot of people during this pandemic is loss of income. A lot of people lost their jobs or reduced income because there's, uh, you know, most companies, if they did not fire their employees, but some of them reduced the income of some of their employees. So the issue of financial stability is a dark cloud at the moment. And also the fact that we realize that a lot of people have um, very uh, little regard for financial literacy in the Philippines. So amidst this atmosphere of uncertainty, um, I felt that having you in today's show will provide us with hard and fast steps to redirect our focus, find our way to gain a foothold on this issue. So if we're ready with your slides, May, take it away. Yeah, so, um, yun nga, hashtag matter of fact tayo, no? We will discuss the importance of, you know, because this uh, situation brought us, brought into light uh, the fact that we might not have enough savings, no? Uh, especially for those who uh, have pay cuts or layoffs no, na experience nila. So, uh, what I will discuss is about the importance of saving for emergencies, saving for um, short, medium, long-term goals, and for uh, seeking protection no, of assets. No? Kasi this uh, pandemic is something that we did not expect. It's an unexpected event, no? what they call a black swan uh, in the stock market. No? So, um, okay, so the first question we should ask ourselves, and of course, uh, alam na natin, obviously not, dito may sagot, ano? Who thinks it's important to save? No? So, siguro ngayon, 99% ng Filipinos all over the world think it's important to save. No? But in reality, how many of us, no? next slide, actually have savings? No? So, dito natin marirealize na, oops, I don't have enough savings pala. No? Now that I, I lost my job no? or I, I experienced a pay cut. So, this is now the chance to, to evaluate things, to assess, you know, uh, things so that in the future, hindi tayo malalagay sa ganitong klaseng situation, no? So, ang nangyayari kasi, next slide, is, uh, you know, pag meron tayong uh, sweldo, no, kinsenas, na kunyari, 10,000 pesos, ang dami natin expenses, no? Uh, marami tayong bills na binabayaran. Ang nangyayari, halos wala nang natitira sa sweldo natin, di ba? So, yan yung reality ng karamihan sa atin, no? Uh, so, ano ba yung mga gastos na yan, no? Kung titingnan natin, no? Meron tayong rent, water, tuition, gas, food, clothes, all the essentials, pati baon ni Junior, ganyan, no? At syempre, meron tayong lifestyle na nine-maintain. Meron Spotify, Netflix, Jollibee, yeah. So, anong kailangan natin gawin, no? So, we have to be, now we can start assessing, no? We have to be mindful, about our money, our finances. And we have all the time now to really assess, no? So, next yan, next slide is uh, ano bang kailangan natin gawin, no? First of all, we have to know how much are we actually earning, no? Ilista natin lahat. So, most people don't even know how much are they earning from, for example, rental, their salary, interest, no? or sidelines. So, so ilista natin yan, tapos i-evaluate natin yung bills natin. Ano ba talaga yung mga dinib, uh, dinabayaran natin buwan-buwan? No? So saan tayo pwede magtipid? Uh, baka naman imbis na isang air, uh, dalawang aircon, isang aircon lang. Ang, uh. So if you, have the, if you have the intention to save, no? then you have to be mindful about how much you earn and how much you're spending. Diba? Kasi you have, to track, yeah? you have to track your expenses instead of, for example, uh, eating out. Siyempre ngayon, medyo mahirap na. Uh, pagkatapos nito, no, eating out three times or a week or every every day, kakain kayo sa labas, baka pwedeng once a week na lang, di ba? So, maghahanap tayo ng mga areas sa ating spending o pinagkagasos kung saan tayo pwedeng mag-save. At kung mag-increase naman yung 
ano natin, yung income natin, huwag natin i-increase yung spending natin. No? We don't have to elevate our lifestyle every time our income goes up. No? So next, ayan. Uh, this is an example of uh, a spreadsheet. No? Actually, sa anak ko to, eh, no? So, nilista niya lahat ng expenses niya. As soon as he got his first job, that's what he did. No? I didn't have to tell him what to do. Nilista niya lahat ng expenses niya. No? Uh, para ma-track down niya where each peso goes. Where does his money actually go? No? Okay. Next naman. So, para naman dun sa... Ayan. So, sasabihin natin, but I don't have enough income. Diba? What will I do? No? So, another... Okay, there are two, there are two strategies no? for um, wealth accumulation. Number one is cost control. I just discussed that. How do you control your cost? How do you keep your cost down? Diba? Number two is to increase your income. No? So, lalo na ngayon, diba? kung sakaling uh, you know, you were going to an office every day and then suddenly you're out of a job or may pay cut so you have to increase your income kasi you have bills to pay, then why don't you consider reinventing yourself? No? Take stock of uh, your skills. No? If you're artistic, if you're a good writer, yeah. So these are the jobs online. No? Try getting work online. Because everyone now is turning digital, diba? Everyone's yes. adapting. Everyone's adapting yes. all the industries are... Uh, and I predict that eventually, because there's no other choice, people will really change their systems and their processes to adapt to the situation so that our economy will continue uh, moving, no? will continue flourishing. So may sorry. excuse me may i ask a question please yes okay um yes. it's it's very important that that we stress the fact that because of the pandemic and because um we are all stuck at home we cannot go out uh, and, yes. and a lot of us have no jobs or have lost their jobs or their contracts I like this particular slide because this is important to reinvent yourself and go digital. That's a very, very important lesson about the pandemic. Remember the new normal already dictates that we must go digital. So let's say you have, um, what is your advice for instance, for those jobs that have, um, have difficulty in terms of transitioning to digital. Oh, so the ano kasi marami namang free online uh, tutorials ngayon kahit sa YouTube eh, di ba? So learn, So yeah, learn, learn so reinventing, skills. retooling and adding new skill sets is yeah. important. Yes, oh, okay. kasi ang ano doon is you have to think outside the box na kasi right now the situation, di ba, is is such, no? But then you have to open up your mind already to adapt, di ba? So what can I do? And if you have other passions, kunyari, magaling ka pala magluto, ayan, ang dami nang nagdi-deliver ng food niya. So monetize your passions, di ba? So, monetize your passion. I like that. So, so Because actually, you cannot just rely on one income stream. Uh -oh. So we let's say the income stream that you generate is not at the same level as your previous job or your previous uh, contract, you must be creative and try to acquire another income stream. So, yes. kunyari, you only earn 50% of what you used to earn. You try to look for another income stream that will compensate to give the other 50% so that you can still maintain your lifestyle or your cost of living. Yeah, and you don't close your mind to other possibilities, no? So now is the time to have courage, courage to try something else. And the humility, the humility to do things that are not in your normal, oh. because really, it's the new normal, no? Yeah, so for example, yeah. the, next slide, the next slide natin, if, um, you know, if you're not the techie type naman, or you find it hard, to, no, pwede ka naman mag-English teacher or, or maging tutor online, di ba? So yes. now is already the time to roll up our sleeves and really search, no? Because why? Why do we need to do it now? Because we cannot, we don't know what we're waiting for, eh, no? 
So, yes. So, if ang attitude natin, tsaka na lang pagka na-lift na yung lockdown or yung ma- maayos na yung pandemic, there's no certainty of anything now. So, again... So, so talagang, so, ano, live, you have to make every day count. Yeah, you, you have to think already of what can I do right now? Right now, what can I do, no? Because there there seems to be no clear and insight pa sa ngayon, no? So instead of focusing na waiting, waiting for, like waiting for Godot, di ba? <laughs> waiting, we don't know what yes. we're waiting for, di ba? So yes. uh, what, what can you do right now? Di ba? So uh, tool up, uh, learn something new, di ba? Na pwede mong i-monetize yan. So, okay. Uh, okay, aside from that, di ba? So for example, nakahanap ka na ng gagawin na. So aside from that, Meron pang isang katulad nitong pandemic no, itong COVID-19. This is something unexpected. We didn't expect this, no? So itong next slide natin, no, matatawag natin itong COVID-19 na parang ganap sa buhay natin. Marami tayong Ano ba ganap. ibig sabihin ng ganap? Eh yung mga millennial term ata. Mga le- <laughs> ano ganap 'yan, 'di ba? So itong COVID-19 is isang unexpected na ganap ito, no? Uh, sa buhay natin, hindi natin Uh, we are not exempted from these uh, unexpected events, no? Like next, for example, no? Yung mga events na yan, ay ano ba yan? Yan, sad, no? Nakakagulat yung mga yan, no? Nobody is exempted, like sickness, accident, death, no? So, uh, I'm a financial advisor for a leading insurance company, no? So, one of the one of the purposes or objectives of getting an insurance policy is to manage the risk so in, in case in case uh, unexpected events happen like sickness accident and death no so maraming purpose ang insurance no yun nga risk management para diyan no uh, at saka savings no savings for retirement no uh, so yun so ngayon ang problema kasi napaka low ng penetration ng insurance sa Pilipinas no? and even savings no a lot of people really don't save, no? So, uh, pag may nangyayaring mga ganap, anong ginagawa nila, di ba? Next slide. Kunyari, kapag may ganap, anong ginagawa nila? Borrow from relatives and friends, sell properties, or withdraw from their savings na halos hindi kumikita, no? Halos hindi pa 0.25% yung earnings natin sa regular savings account. So, uh, ito pang isang example, no? For example, isang breadwinner, no? isang father, yeah. next slide tayo. Uh, meron siyang 11-year-old na anak, no? So, yung anak niya 11 years old, para maging uh, financially independent yun, kailangan mga 21 years old yun, napag, napag-aral niya, napagtapos niya, at nagkatrabaho na. So, for example, bigla siyang nag-pass away, namatay. No? Patulad nito, any, at, at this time, anybody can catch the infection and and pass away, no? So, what if he had an 11-year-old daughter? 10 more years for that daughter to to graduate, di ba? So if he spends 12,000 pesos, no, on, on a child and for 12 months that's 144,000 pesos, 'di ba? And he suddenly dies, 'di ba? 10 more years, 1.4 million pa ang kailangan para mapagtapos ang batang 'yon. So ano ang purpose ng insurance sa taong 'yan, no? So kung meron siyang 2 million na death benefit na may iwan sa pamilya niya, at least matutustusan o masusuportahan ang batang 'yan, no? Yeah. So, yun isa sa mga sa mga purpose ng insurance, income continuity, no? Ito pa, ang isang purpose ng insurance, yan, retirement, no? Next slide na tayo. Next slide, please, yan. So, retirement. So, all of us will retire for sure, di ba? We need to rest from working. No? It's either a planned retirement or an unplanned retirement because of sickness no? or disability. So, pag-usapan natin yung retirement kasi ang isa sa purpose ng isang insurance policy is to save for retirement. Diba? So, for example, next slide. Yeah. Crazy. Kakain tayo, di ba? Pag-retire natin, hindi naman tayo, we will continue eating. No? So, one of, that is one of the major expenses uh, when we retire. No? Aside from medicine and hospitalization, ganyan. So, food. So, for example, if we eat three times a day, 365 days a week, We're going to eat 21,900 meals. Times, kunyari, sabihin na natin conservatively, 100 pesos per meal. So, sa meals pa lang, we will be spending 2.1 million up to the age of 
But what if we live until 90? Diba? Diba pa yun? No? So, on retirement alone, wala pa dyan yung pangtina, pang sumba, wala pa dyan yung meds, wala pa dyan yung hospitalization. Sa food pa lang, we need 2.1 million na. Diba? So, I have a question, yes. May. Yes. I have a question. These are really, um, you mentioned earlier that the ma major reasons for insurance are is income continuity and retirement, no? preparation for retirement. And this uh, computation only takes into consideration food. A budget of, uh, actually on the low side, is only 100 percent. Can you imagine pagkain pa lang 2.19 million yeah. na? No? For a period of 20 years. Eh, wala pa dyan yung as you get older, obviously you get sick or you'll have maintenance oh. medication. And hindi lang naman yun ang gagasas, yun, yung pang iba pang transportation, load, oh. you know, etc. Yeah. etc. Et so, so, this is really the most conservative already yes, computation. Yes. Uh, so, we cannot save for 2.1 million when we turn 55. Ba? It, we cannot think of our retirement and, uh, I mean, ibig sabihin yung uh, the money that we need for retirement, hindi natin pwedeng problemahin yan at the age of 58. Diba? So, it's something na you have to start on, early on. You know, as, as soon as you get a job, you should start saving for your retirement. No? So, okay. Mm -hmm. Next slide. Next slide tayo. No? Which uh, brings us to DUL. No? Ano ba yung variable unit linked insurance policy? No? So, itong policy na to allows you to save for your retirement. Diba? And it also gives you protection in case something sudden happens or something unexpected happens. No? So it marries the two. It's double purpose. No? So um, kung sakaling may mangyari, mayroong kang living benefit na if you have uh, na-diagnosed na ka with cancer or any critical illness, you can draw from the policy. No? If there's sudden death due to an accident or a disease, your family will be left with money that they can use. Diba? So, hindi sila mamang problema as soon as you pass away. Diba? Pero kung wala naman nangyari sa'yo, uh, it's continuously, yung whatever you're saving is invested naman so that when you retire, you can withdraw from it. No? So, savings and investment and protection. No? Because when something sudden happens to you, no? if you get critically ill and you don't have a policy, you will end up touching your savings. No, that you have been saving for how many years, you will end up selling your property. So an insurance policy protects your assets. So you don't have to dig into your savings and your investments right? because the policy will pay for whatever expenses. But, but it depends on what kind of benefits you signed up for. No? So next slide tayo. For example, right? uh, ito, this is just a... Uh, no, uh, so, ito, estimated, no? estimated values lang ito. If a 30-year-old is saving for 10 years no? of 2,000 a month, every month, no? 2,000 a month, so pwede siya makakuha ng mga benefits na ganyan, no? 864 death benefit, total and permanent disability, ayan. Tapos, sa dulo, no? at the age of 60, pag-retire niya, 2 point, pwede siya magkaroon ng 2 million na retirement fund. No? Tatanungin mo ako, paano nangyari yun? 2,000 pesos lang, di ba? Yan. Ang concept dito is com compound interest, di ba? So, dahil nagsisave siya the same amount, which, by the way, it can increase, nagsisave siya ng same amount every month, diligently saving the same amount, nagko-compound ngayon siya. Yung principal, nagko-compound with the interest, and then the interest with the principal, nagko-compound rate. No? Habang nag-earn, no? nag-earn yung, ang tawag dito, habang gumugulong yung, yung interest, Tapos yung pera niya, kasama yung interest. Palaki ng palaki through the years. That's why it's advisable for a young person to start. No? Kasi a young person, like if you start 21 years old, as soon as you get your job, as soon as you get your paycheck, you start saving. Kasi you have a long investment horizon ahead of you versus a 45-year-old. No? If a 45-year-old will start saving, dun lang sa 45-year-old na yan, 15 years na lang ang pwede niyang ipag-save kasi magre-retire na siya at 60 years old. So, nakakatakot, di ba? So, para sa akin, uh, kung meron ka namang extra na isi-save, isi di ba? Kung meron ka namang... Uh, so, ang, ang concept dito is wag mong tipirin no? yung savings mo, tipirin mo yung lifestyle mo. Di ba? Kung pwede ka namang hindi mag-Starbucks araw-araw, yeah. di ba? Kung pwede, yeah. May, pwede may, ka may, excuse me, 
excuse me, May, um, that's a very important lesson, no? Uh, and I, I, I really want to reiterate that. Yung sinabi mo kanina, wag mong tipirin yung savings mo, ang tipirin mo yung lifestyle mo. So yung prudent living ang importante. Di ba? So lalo na ngayon, natutunan natin dito sa pandemic na to na medyo hindi na tayo pwede maging YOLO masyado. You only live oh, once. ano ba yung YOLO? You only, you only live, live once. once. Oo. Hindi na pwede yan. <laughs> hindi na uubra yan. Kasi na-realize natin Pero, na... Pero, uh, na, na, na interesting to kasi itong susunod mo na slide, kung sinabi nga nila na baka hindi ko ma-afford ng insurance. So ito oh. actually, at the very minimum, at 510.83 pesos. Ano to? Oh. Annual or monthly? Annual. Annual. No? So, Annual. Kung, okay. Oh, so, kunyari, uh, kunyari uh, you, you, you ride your bike, you know, you ride your bike, motorbike to work, and you're not even insured. What if something happens to you and you had a bike accident, no? So, panlibing man lang, 100,000 pesos, di ba? Na-disable ka. Hindi ka namatay, pero na-disable ka. No? Hindi ka makatrabaho ng six months, may 100,000 pesos ka, kesa wala. Yun ang point, eh. So, ngayon, pwede mo naman, kung gusto mo ng mas malaking benefits, pwede mo naman increase yung premium mo. No? Okay. Yung lang. So, yung next slide natin, ito, malapit na tayo matapos, no? So, okay, I cannot stress, uh, you know, enough na the, the advantage of investing at an early age or saving at an early age. So, this this um, infograph shows you that a person who saves at the age of yeah, 25, no? He only needs to save, for example, 5,000 a month. Because why only 5,000 a month? Kasi in a, in a VUL policy, no? Because it costs less to protect a younger person, no? So, pero pag nag-start naman yung isang 35-year-old, baka mas malaki na yung kailangan niya isil kasi naghahabol na siya, trying to catch up na, no? Lalo na yung 45-year-old, di ba? 20,000 na. So, pag nagsimula ka ng maaga, at 10 years kang nagsisave, so later okay. on, no, yun na pag sina yun sinabi ko na compounding interest, uh, halos pareho din naman yung magiging retirement fund nila. Pero ang idea dito is the 25-year-old did not have to to shell out so much compared to the older uh, men. No? So yun lang. So there is an advantage of starting early. Diba? Uh, you don't have to, to shell out uh, a whole lot compared to if you started at 40 or 45 years. The sooner you start, the better. Yun lang. Okay. So, I have some... Uh, is this your last slide or do we have one more slide? Uh, ito na yung last slide. Uh, okay. So, yun na. Ito okay. na yung last slide. Um, because... For the benefit of uh, the, the people out there, no, because medyo mababa yung volume ni May, no? and, uh -huh. and then you may have other questions. Uh, uh, please don't hesitate to to um, you know to to ask questions. You can you can uh, we have a chat box in our in our feed, and if there are any questions, you can just ask them. But in the meantime, I have some basic questions to ask you, um, and I have six basic questions. No, number one. Okay. What is your uh, recommended percentage of income? that one should put into savings. Uh, okay, so there's the 50, 30, 20 rule. Can you, can you hear me? Hindi. Louder. Uh, there's the 50, 20, 30 rule. Hindi. How about now? It's still low, but maybe you can answer me just the same. I'll just repeat your answer. Okay, what so, is the percentage of income that you one should put into savings? Uh, dapat ano at least twenty to thirty percent. Twenty to thirty percent. Oh, okay. Mo, oh, uh, you yeah. Put into now, um, yeah. And then you mentioned uh, during our our preparation for the show, you said that it is important to build an emergency fund, right? So, ganito yan. Uh, How much should you set aside for that emergency fund? Okay. So, 
you compute your expenses, then you multiply by six months, no? Pero syempre ngayon, kung kaya mo mag-set aside ng up to 12 months, mas maganda. Uh -huh. no? so, so, you should aim. Actually, this is all, ano eh, recommendations so that people can make it a goal and an aim for them to try to achieve, no? So you're saying that you should try to achieve a savings percentage of 20%, Mm -hmm. And emergency funds equivalent to at least six months of income. Yes. So, okay. Uh, One more question. Do you advise buying or investing in an insurance policy? Yes, of course. Oh. No, kasi, uh, to build your uh, financial house, successful financial house, no, the first, the very base or foundation should be protection. No? Kasi yeah. sinabi ko nga kanina, you have to protect your savings or your assets. Diba? So, yeah. tapos, along with that, you should have an emergency fund of six months. Diba? Ngayon, kung may extra yeah. ka pa, doon ka na ngayon mag-invest in stocks. So, kasi mga kabataan ngayon, mahilig dumediretso ng bibili ng stocks directly. No? But when you uh -huh. buy stocks directly, uh, when you buy stocks directly, at may nangyaring emergency, yun tax mo, yun lang ang ma-withdraw mo. Ngayon, kung down yung market, withdrawin mo siya ng palugi. Di ba? Oo. So, kailangan... Yun ang problema sa stock. Oo. Oo. That's true. Oo. Kaya, na, ang na, nakita ko na in summary, no, kasi, uh, we, I just want to simplify it for the benefit of our audience, no. Uh, you said that the basics of strengthening one's financial uh, status is you have a Number one, set aside 20% of savings. Number two, build up or make it a goal to have at least six months emergency fund. And then number three, choose the right protection plan or insurance. Right? Uh, uh, so uh, the insurance, the, the VUL, no, will cover unexpected events. No? Just in case that there are unexpected events, like critical illness, ganyan. So, uh, yun, that will that will give you protection, no? And also, yeah. it has investment uh, investment component din naman. I have a, there's a question here that came from one of our audience. Can you hear me? Yes. Sabi niya ganon, I have an account po sa BDO Nomura. Bumibili po ako ng stocks pero hindi po siya masyadong gumagalaw. And when I saw yung mga ad selling stocks ng SM, Jollibee, and other big companies, I am really, really interested po to buy stocks like Jollibee at SM kasi mababa sila ngayon. My question is, paano ko po mapapalago yung stocks ko? Okay, uh, ang principle ngayon is first of all, tatanungin ko na naman yang uh, nag-question, nag-ask ng question na yan, no? Meron ka na bang policy, no? So before you go into stocks, you have to make sure na in case may emergency, 'di ba? Meron kang insurance policy in case of sickness, accident, and death, no? Ngayon, kung meron ka na noon in place and you still want to double in stocks, then ang strategy is to choose uh, companies na yung resilient companies no lalo na ngayon may, you can you can do research eh, na although i would caution no? i would caution na if you don't really understand it wag basta-bastang magi-invest sa stocks no so kasi pinag-aaralan niyan eh no ano yung mga companies na in the long term ay magiging profitable pa rin sa so ngayon syempre alam natin yung mga industries na down no so uh, at kung kailan sila uh, magpipick up, hindi, hindi natin mapredict. So, word of caution lang, siguro, put just a portion of your money in stocks, not a whole lot. Maybe you can save the same amount every month. No, Every month, bibili ka. Yung, dis yung discipline na, okay, I will save 2,000 a month, 5,000 a month in certain companies. You don't have to spread yourself out too thin. No, You have to choose the companies na, ano, so, I guess in the long term, yung Ayala, SM, ayan, no? Yes. Pero ngayon, yung mga, es mga essential industries ang, ang mas ano ngayon, eh. 
ang mas resil uh, ang mas uh, safe no like yung mga manufacturing companies food manufacturing companies yan yan yung mga ano nga yung mga pharma yan so it depends also on the situation hindi ka basta-basta bibili ng stocks pag-aaralan mo din no yes pero so, yun nga eh, for a basic uh, per, for a person yun yung basic lessons na na inano mo is Number one, build a cash savings. 20% every month goes to savings. Number two, build an emergency fund of at least six months. No? Uh -oh. Number three, choose the right insurance or accidental death benefit, uh, an insurance policy. That uh -oh. there is a policy for your budget. And mas uh -oh. maganda to start early. Di ba? Yes, yes. Yeah. So, uh -oh. ito yung... Meron ka, meron, meron, uh, meron kang advice slide. Can we have, can we show that uh, slide? Your yung uh, slide, oh. ad, Yes, yes, ito. Uh -oh. yeah. So, if you want to assess, no, uh, yung financial stability mo, or if you want to consult, no, pwede ng online ngayon. Kasi syempre, uh, nag-convert na rin kami sa lahat sa non-face-to-face transactions muna and processing. So you can contact me and we can have a meeting via Zoom or Messenger. Uh, and I'll ask you questions. You know, kasi ano to dapat eh, personalized. So the plan that you will get is something na uh, personal to you, know, what your situation and what is comfortable that you, you can sustain, the amount that you can sustain saving in the long run. No? Kasi medyo long term ito eh. Kasi pinag-usapan yes. natin dito pang retirement mo. And in between... No? And in between, uh, if there's an emergency, you can draw from it. No? So you, yes. cannot draw, you cannot draw the same protection benefits no? in a savings account or a stock market account. No? You cannot, it, it's not going to happen talaga. No? So ito uh -oh. yung pinaka-safe pinaka na pwede mong pasukan sa ngayon, especially ngayon, na-realize ng mga tao yun na, uh, my God, hindi pala ako insured. Diba? So, sa mga kabataan, habang ba habang bata pa kayo, habang healthy pa kayo, ma-approve pa kayo ng underwriter, magpa-insure kayo. Para just in case okay. na emergency, yan, mayroon kayong kukunin. Benefit. Okay, so um, very important na, uh, the, the, I cannot stress the fact that, um, stress it enough, that um, having savings and liquidity at the time of crisis is very important. That's really the first thing that everybody looked at when the ECQ or the lockdown happened, when this whole pandemic began. <clears throat> now, in the event that, uh, of course, we cannot anymore look back, we can only move forward. No? So it's important, ladies and gentlemen and friends, that, you know, um, we must take stock of our current situation if you are jobless, ang, ang advice ni May is um, try to look for other means of income as fast as you can. Go digital, attend webinars, retool yourself, try to look at similar uh, uh, functions or uh, positions that would be fitting to your skill set. If not, uh, be flexible. Try try something different. Follow your passion. If you cook, why don't you do something that's home based? Try a a, a business, no? If you can, no. But the point is, you must look at yourself, do a self assessment, and should you want to consult with our um, guest, Miss May Elizabeth Sol, uh, we have her information right now. That's her cell phone number is 0917-845-224. And her Facebook page is called Wealth Strat Pro. And uh, of course, mate, they can consult with you, no? Uh, no commitments, no nothing. If they just want to explore and learn more from you. Yes. Um, your Wealth Strat Pro is my Facebook page, no? Uh, they yes. can message me there if they have any questions and we can set up an appointment. Uh, Thank you. Free, uh, free consultation lang naman. Yes. No obligation. So any last words of advice to our listeners? Uh, yun lang, just be mindful 
of your financial situation and assess and save. Save. I, yes. I cannot stress it uh, more na talagang this is the time na marirealize natin na buti na lang kung nag-save ka at kung sinasabing uh, kuripot ka or masinop ka. Ngayon, talagang yeah, na, na, pinapakinabangan ang mga sinave mo ngayon. No? Pero it's not it's not yet, uh, it's not yet, uh, tawag dito, um, hindi pa naman huli ang lahat, no? So, you can of still, course. yeah, you can still start, no? Uh, kahit pa konti-konti, um, do, do not go into something you don't understand. That's why you need to consult uh, with someone. Yes. Uh, with okay. Someone. And on that note, friends, that's our guest. May Elizabeth Sol, a financial advisor, and she has some very she has given us some very prudent advice. When we come back, we're not gonna we're now gonna look at how we can reach for the stars and continue to seek our dreams and aspirations, and we're gonna come up with some fantastic video performances. Don't go away. We'll be right back. We'll be back shortly with T. Let's chat with Tita Gracie only here on V81 Radio. Big Benta, a Pinoy e commerce site made for you. Enjoy hassle free shopping with multiple payment options available. May local support then ready to assist so you can enjoy peace of mind when you shop. Visit our website to check different product offerings. Get anything you want. And avail everything you need. In just one click. Big Benda, Pinoy e-commerce, made for you. After this pandemic, let's support the Filipino community. Buy local. Visit local. Go local. Enjoy ang pakikinig sa V81 Radio kahit saan. We are now on your Amazon Echo devices. Just say, Alexa, play V81 Radio. At i-enjoy ang inyong mga paboritong Pinoy music 24-7. Sabihin lang, Alexa, play V81 Radio.